Today we're looking at one of my favorite pendant ocarinas to take with me everywhere I go, so stick around. What's up, Black Amigos? My name is David, and today we're looking at the Gosling Ocarinas by Ross and Erica from Oberon Ocarinas. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I post a new review, tutorial, or music video. So for the past several years, I've noticed these ocarinas getting a lot more popular, mainly because they look as beautiful as they sound. I know that is high praise, but it is very, very true. These ocarinas are made by a duo from Rhode Island in North America. And what's really cool is that it is an equal partnership. Ross focuses on making sure that these ocarinas are accurately tuned to A440, while Erica focuses more on the aesthetics and making each one look incredibly beautiful. And on that note, let's talk about the aesthetics of the instrument. There are no two ocarinas that are alike when it comes to Oberon, which is really incredible. Every single one of these has so much detail thanks to the amount of time and effort that Erica puts into each ocarina, whether it's their Gosling or their larger 12-hole ocarinas. Um, each one is completely unique. So when you're gonna pick one, you really get to decide which one fits your personality the most. I struggled very hard uh, for the last several years trying to find one that fitted me the most, and I fell in love with this one the minute that I saw it in Italy. There's kind of an exclusive club now with my friends where we each got to pick an Oberon that we like the most, and uh, I took this picture recently in Italy when we were uh, comparing and showing our favorites. When it comes to the ergonomics, they're pretty comfortable to play, they're pretty light, uh, but they're thick. You can tell that the clay walls within the ocarina are pretty thick, which means that if you drop them accidentally, they're probably gonna be durable. A friend of mine told me when they dropped theirs, it was perfectly fine, nothing happened to it, which is great. They added a couple of features to this ocarina that makes it pretty interesting. It's tuned to C and it's technically six holes, but not the way that you would think. They added a sub hole so that you can go down to a low B, which is pretty nice. And if you fibble bend, you can probably get it a little bit lower as well. I can get down to a G, which is cool. Instead of putting a full right thumb hole to get the high E, they added, uh, I'm gonna call it an accidental hole, so that when you're playing the low notes, you can lift up your right thumb to play C to C sharp, and then D to D sharp with that right thumb, which is pretty cool. I like that you don't have to half hole, which is the, probably the most difficult thing about playing pendant ocarinas, is to get those low accidentals you have to half hole. This right thumb hole uh, feature eliminates that problem. It has a necklace so that you can wear it around, which I wear mine around all the time, as do my friends, and uh, you can show it off with pride. It's not too big or too small. If we're gonna get into the sound, the tone is very sweet. Uh, it's not too bright. So I did notice a slight variation in some other of the Goslings where it is more of an even breath slope, but this breath slope on this particular ocarina is soft on the low notes, and then you kind of have to bump it a little bit to play the high notes. But the tuning is excellent, and I love that it's not too loud on the high notes, which is pretty uncommon for a Soprano Sia ocarina. In conclusion, this quickly became one of my favorite ocarinas to take with me on the go. Um, each one is very, very beautiful. Kudos to Erica for the design of every single one of them. They all are so different and unique, and I love that about this ocarina. And I love the tone. Again, soprano Cs tend to be a little bit piercing on the high end, but Ross did a good job in making sure that it rounds off a little bit smooth and uh, not too bright and piercing. So 
I would highly recommend these. That's gonna do it for this video. If you have any suggestions for other reviews I should do in the future, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. A very special thank you to my patrons for making these videos possible. And if you'd like to help support these reviews as well, be sure to check out my Patreon page for MP3s, backtracks, sheet music, a whole bunch of different rewards. So thank you for checking that out. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is David. I post new Ocarina videos throughout the week. So don't forget to subscribe. And until that next video, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll see you then.